I don't really care about details. I care about 4 million. I don't care about 4,165,318. I can't remember that, but I'll remember 4 million 20 years from now. I don't know if you read that in the community points, but I really mean that. I feel like I got my mad scientist art coming on, and I'm my own Frankenstein. What's up, y'all? Just got home from work. Gonna bang out this kettlebell AM wrap real quick. Man, yeah, that Bulgarian bag right here is so sore. I don't know what exactly that is. That side just the side delts or what? I'm gonna have to look. But from here to about right there. Now, we're 40 hours fasted. We're right at 40 hours fasted. I still wanna get 60. That's the 61 would be one rep above what I've done. But whatever, I just, I don't know how that's gonna affect it. But we're gonna go as hard as we can on that 90% threshold. And our lower back, we are feeling it. And I was a little sloppy yesterday, you know, because when I'm doing these, what I don't, what you don't wanna do even with a straight back is going like this, like too far. You know, that's what you don't want. With me, with my arms, they're so, they're, I have a long torso and sh shorter arms. So the kettlebell basically goes right where my ball sack is. So that's always in my mind what makes me kind of, I think, unconsciously bend a little bit. Because <laughs> it's like literally, wham, you know, if I'm, but I need to uh, make sure I'm not exerting my back. So you're going to keep that form and, and that's that. So, okay, duck rambling. Oh, the cardio in my stomach's already hurting. <laughs> Woo! And that's fucking ketones, baby. That is the fucking power of ketones. I could keep going. That is not 90%. But I am 40 hours fasted. So, and I've never worked out fasted. I've never worked out in a deep fast. So I'm being a little cautious. And my lower back is sore for the first time since I started this whole journey. I could have kept going. That is deep ketosis. Those ketones are magic. You cannot explain that to someone. You have to experience that. I thought kettlebells would be push me beyond that threshold, but apparently not. This is at level two that Thomas DeLauer, I guess, was just talking about. Because I could tell I was running on ketones right there. It's like having an IV in you. If you've never been in deep ketosis with that, you know, it's just, it's literally stupid tripod. 
It's literally like having an energy drink without all the jitters. That's how I'm always trying to explain it. It's like having a steady IV of energy drink, but without the jitters. And anyone who's ever been in deep ketosis and worked out and done cardio knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's magical. That's one of the reasons I love it. I could keep going. I'm choosing to stop. That was not 90%. I don't even know how many of that was. I just, well, I already explained why. I'm just excited. And uh, I've done a lot of fashion before. I'm going to talk more about that. I think that's going to be my 1,000 sub thing. And I'm going to talk about why. Because I know you, you maybe you've, if you've been here a while, you maybe you've wondered, like, why sometimes I talk, you know, I have a lot of experience with fasting, and I'm going to explain why, probably around the, because it's very sensitive. I'm not quite ready to talk about it. It's one of the most, it is the most painful moment, at least in my adult life. And, uh, but I'll, I'll talk about that. I think that's a good, good uh, 1,000 subscriber thank you thing is brutally honest and, and getting vulnerable with y'all and just telling y'all that part of my story. But that'll come at a thousand subs. And I just kind of decided that today. I was thinking about going into it today, but that needs this whole video because I'm gonna have to use pictures and I don't know, I need to do that one right. It's a tribute as much as anything, but you know what? Let's just get into it. Because I think I'm gonna do some arms too. I'm gonna do uh think just like I did I'm just a pump. Just the, as many an am wrap. 90% AMRAP curls, 90% AMRAP crushers, and then that second set is where it was. I was getting pumped. I just want to get some blood in there. Again, we're fasting. You know, and my my thought or my thoughts on it is the body's a genius. There's millions of years of evolution in your genes. DNA has genetic memory going back millions of years. It knows what to do. At the end of the day, you cut out all the bullshit. There's one thing on this earth you're here to do. On a primal nat nature level, I'm not getting into the spirit or any of that. Your one purpose is to reproduce. And to be able to do that, you have to be able, you have to survive and be able to, yeah, you have to be able to survive. And to survive, you need to eat and you need water. So when you're not eating, your body has one fucking thing to do. And it's like, oh my God, we need to eat. How do we meet? Well, you're obviously too fat and slow to catch that damn deer. So here, let's let's take some, oh, there's some scar tissue here. Let's chew that up. There, or here, there's a little couple strands from a ligament from a tear 20 years ago. Let's eat that up. And then let's sh shit out some amino acids over here. Oh, we're gonna, that muscle looks like it could use a little patch. Let's patch that up. Da -da -da. Now that's a rough, but that's how I see it in my mind. Whether that's 100%, and there's some science to back that up. You know, with Tom, you can go to Thomas, DeLau, and all them go into that. I'm not, I don't really care about details. I care about 4 million. I don't care about 4,165,318. I can't remember that, but I'll remember 4 million 20 years from now. So I watch stuff and I just, I remember shit, 4 million. Oh, that's 2 million. Oh, okay, 100,000. That's a general rule, but that lets me memorize and consciously recall more shit because I'm remembering 4 million, which is like two bits of data, whereas 4,386,218 is 30 bits. I mean, I, I, I don't know if that, that's probably not real, the real numbers. I know it's not because one character is a bit. But you then you look at you thinking about your computer. You know, how many gigabyte files can you file on your one terabyte high drive and how many five or how many 10-bit files can you file on your hard drive? I mean, all of it's in there, but you can only recall very microscopic amounts of it. So anyways, that's a random tangent, but not even a tangent, just a little tidbit. Uh, the unconscious mind is ridiculous. Literally, you can break your life down into, what is it, 24 FPS is what our eyes see everything in, I think. And so from the moment you come out of your mom's vagina, Every moment, every sec, every second, there's 24 frames. That's all up here. It's all stored from the moment you come out of the vagina to the time you die. It's all right here. 
you just gotta it's all of it's just recall after that and obviously the conscious mind is a little rusty calculator and this is like a super quantum computer that shits on in the most powerful computer anyone can make right now so that's a little quantum philosophy or fasting how the hell did i just i was not how the hell did i come about doing fast this big long fast first of all this is the first extended fast i've done since my mom died and there's a reason for that like i said we'll go into that in a thousand subs because that's a very anyways so i wasn't planning on it i just uh i didn't get around to it because i ate I ate that one pound of pork roast Wednesday at three and then or Thursday at three. And then, so then obviously I get up and I go to work at 10 o'clock. And then, so usually I'll eat around midnight, one in the morning, somewhere in there, but I was about ready to fix my dinner. And then anyways, it just kind of slipped by some shit was going on. It got kind of busy. And then it was like three 30 in the morning when I thought about it and was like, yeah, I'm going to be off in a little bit. I'll just eat when I get home. And I got home and I just never ate yesterday. And actually I had the best night of sleep I've had in a long time, especially on a work day last night. I went to sleep around two, it was like 2.30, woke up to my alarm, my second safe alarm, 9.20, because my other one didn't even wake my ass up. It goes off at 8.15 or 8.20. But anyways, so then I'm up, I'm at work. And then I'm, again, kind of around around running the morning. I'm like, all right, let me, let me make my dinner. And then I'm sitting there. I forget what it was, but something maybe I was like, wait, I've already been fasting 33 hours. I haven't fasted over 24 hours since my mom died. And then I kind of churned some things in my head and then I'm like, you know, I'm already 33 hours in this. Why not at least go try and go 48? And I said, well, if I'm gonna go 48, why don't I go to this full 72 for a good three day fast? Cause I've fasted over seven, I've fasted, not over, I fasted seven days once and I fasted three days multiple times. And I fasted five days once and uh, of course, this was years ago. Again, we'll talk about it. One thousand subs, and uh, but this, so this just kind of evolved, and then to where last night when I made that community post, and then I posted that on my Instagram and stuff, kind of saying where my mind was at. I was like, screw, let's do it, you know, because I've never fasted and tried to work out. I always the only thing I ever done fasting was walking, and I have a feeling that's why I'm starting. I'm feeling pretty sore. Because I'm so I'm fasted, and I've obviously been working out a lot, relatively for me, and then these daily kettlebell swings. So it's yeah, this is a lot of stress on my body. But you know what? That's a good thing. I like that. It's acute. That's how our bodies are designed. You know, we're freaking in a plane, and I get dropped in a damn jungle somewhere. I don't want that to be the first time in my life I've ever been multiple days without food and having to do a lot of exercise and stuff. If I'm ever actually in a situation like that. I don't want to be, I mean, obviously it doesn't matter. You're always going to be caught off guard your pants down. But I think that's, I just, I don't know. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so I like the idea of putting myself through a shitload of stress. And then it's a cute, and it feels good. I feel better, believe it or not, right now than I ever had. I mean, I just cooked a big meal for a bunch of people. And I didn't even get hungry the whole time. It was easy. But when you're in deep ketosis and you're in that mindset, that's how it is. It's easy. You don't get hungry. Because the biggest, which you have to realize, and I think this is the hardest thing for people to grasp when they're first learning about fasting and stuff, is they're like, oh, my God, starving. Oh, my God, my muscles are going to melt away. No, they're not. I'll just say this right off the bat. Okay? That's, I know for an empirical absolute fucking fact that doesn't happen. Because I had the same muscle mass when I started this as I did 15 years ago and I didn't do shit in between that in any kind of serious manner at all and I did a lot of fasting in through that so the, just right there there's that I mean maybe you might lose a pound or something like that if you've killed yourself at a gym for four years I see where that stigma is right I mean that's different but I'm talking about for you just your normal person it's you're not going to just waste away fasting because all this is food you understand? All these fat cells, that's food. This is an all-you-can-eat buffet. You are just fine for an extended period of, and even longer. And I just, we're just so, like, oh my God, the littlest thing can happen. 
censured, I think, that we kind of, I don't really want to go down that road. I'm not a doctor. I don't have that authority. So that's Dr. Berg, and now let them talk about all that stuff. And Mr. Young, or whatever his name is, Fung, Dr. Fung, or whatever. But we're the bodies are resilient. Okay, we've been here for millions of years. It knows how to go without food. And uh, you've never fasted. You've never tried keto, and you have some fuck. You have weight to lose. I, I would suggest giving it a shot. But that's also why I'm doing what I'm doing. Why I started this day one. That way, there's never a question. There's never a oh, you say that, but you know what did you really do? No, you seen it. You saw it happen. You've seen it happen. This whole thing is going to be that way. So that's why I did it like that. Even though it was hard, you know, it's fucking hard having that. Zzz beam on you of having to perform that's why I kind of backed off you know those those couple times because it when you're trying to do all this and all this year there's a lot of emotional shit that happens with losing a bunch of fucking weight and uh doing all that from scratch from the start with the, this beam on you like zzz, at, at first and at some point but not I mean but it's also why I'm doing this without that beam I wouldn't admit it because I've used that beam to pull myself up Y'all have pulled me up. And, I mean, I don't know how any other way to explain that. And, uh, so, anyways, I just wanted to chat a little bit and talk. And I'm going to do those, uh, I'm going to do that arm blast real quick. You know, you're sitting there going like, damn, this one, he's talking all fast and everything. Yeah, that's fasting. That's ketones. That's the deep. When you break that, that threshold, man, that's. That's what happens, and you just gotta experience that. I can't, I, I don't, you know what I mean? But that's really how cool it is. I forgot what this felt like. I haven't fasted over 24 hours in forever, and how light you feel, and you know, and it's just, well, I don't know, you can read Dana White's thing. He did, I think he did an extended one, and he talked about it. I mean, that shit's real. And again, I'm not trying to break any down, any muscle or anything, just pumping. Just letting my body know, hey, we're using these muscles still. Go take some uh, go to take some material somewhere else if you need it. Some scar tissue or something. Because <clears throat> the brain does need some glucose. And I'm already basically carnivore. So on this fast, my body is going to break down some, some kind of lean mass. Some kind of something to feed my brain and whatever organs still need glucose. Uh, so, fine. The body's smart. They're going to go for the shit it doesn't need. It's not going to take from the shit it does, in my opinion. Again, just basically two M wraps and constant time under tension. At least with the curls, it's a little harder with skull crushers to do that. But so we're never fully going down like that. We don't want to touch our belly because that takes all the tension off the biceps. And we're just getting a pump, and that's it. And if I feel anything hurting in my elbows or anything, I'll, I'll back off. Because <clears throat> it may seem like I'm just reckless and crazy, and I guess in some ways I am, but I'm not stupid. And if you've been watching, you know if something doesn't feel right, I stop it immediately. And again, it's 34 pounds. So not, it's not heavy weight at all. Oh yeah, I'm already getting burnt. <clears throat> Fasting burn, baby.
I don't know why that screen is flickering. I guess I gotta use the damn back camera. This gets annoying when I go to look at it and I'm out of frame. I'm gonna edit it. My head's been chopped off. So how's your day? Y'all having a good day? Hope y'all having a good day. Hope you have a better one if you're not. That's interesting. Left ear just started ringing. Blood pressure's probably really high. That's all right. My blood pressure is always going to be high when I'm lifted until I get this fat off. After this, actually, <clears throat> is that I have a theory, but I think there's more to ketones than lifting than people think. Because I think a lot of the studies have been done with normal people. There hasn't been studies with people that have been deep in ketosis for like three to five years. I think you do studies on those guys, and it's going to be different. Do another set, but I'm not. That's good. My triceps almost hurt right there. I'd say they're like eight of a ten out of eight out of ten uncomfortable, and then so real close to going from uncomfortable to painful. So we'll leave it there. Again, we're just trying to get a pump. I think we su succeeded in that. Oh, you tell me. We have a little pump. Oh yeah. We got a little pump. We got some blood in there. Let's go, baby. Fasted fucking pump, baby. 40 hour fasted on pump. <sighs> so yeah. You know what I mean? I I don't know if you read that in the community points, but I really mean that. I feel like I got my mad scientist art coming on. And I'm my own fucking Frankenstein. I've always been an experimenter. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to document it and share it with y'all. That's what this channel is. is I'm, from day one, I wanted to focus on documenting, not creating. So that's, I'm a documenting first channel. Tomorrow, fasted leg day if we make it there. I'm not ashamed if I don't. But I'm really trying to push to that 72 hour mark. But well, anyway, he's doing a fasted legs, body weight squats, and then we're going to have our nice juicy whey protein with lots of goodies in there that our cells, starving cells, are just going to go, and they're going to suck it up, and then we're going to wait as long as we can, and then we'll have a nice big meal. But what you don't want to do is eat a bunch of fat right after you fast, and ideally I have that whey protein, and then I go to sleep, and then wake up, and then have a nice meal, but if I don't go right to sleep... Then I'll just eat when I just get really, really hungry later. But the main thing is for me and my philosophy, breaking a long-term fast, I want a protein, lean protein, with lots of good eating nutrients and stuff in there to get all that float in the blood while that insulin just goes skyrockets after a fast. And it's just like, just starts grabbing shit. I want to grab in all these nutrients and minerals and good shit like all the vitamins and minerals and mushrooms and all that stuff. Just, just suck it up. <laughs>